Welcome back, and we are back at work after the long weekend. And so when we last left off last week, we were finishing laying up the mould for the roof. And here you can see we've actually um, popped it from the plug and came out nicely. No problems there. Uh, what we're finding, though, is our um, silicon rubber uh, profile that we're using now is kind of degrading after using it multiple times. So um, it's... I guess the um, it's reacting with the the black top coat that we're using, so we're just going to have to use it less times. Uh, but it's still way quicker than using the wax profile. So uh, anyway, next up uh, here is the uh, mold for the overhead console um, being set up there with the um, double-sided sticky tape there, the green stuff that you can see, and that's sort of a close-up look of it. It's just kind of like a like a chewing gum type thing, really. Um, that's for sealing the bag, the vacuum bag. And uh, Mark's just basically putting that around the edge there so Jeff can lay that up. And uh, next up I was actually cutting um, some braces for the um, the roof mold. So we could brace that up. Um, it's got quite a bit of flex in it because it's just like a big um, U shape. So not only do we need a stand for the bottom, we need some brace for the side to stop it from flexing. So you'll see that uh, coming up, but yeah, there's a couple of pieces already cut. And there you can see them just uh, dry fit there. At least that's the first four pieces that just uh, sit over the top. And you'll see coming up soon, there's some side pieces as well. Uh, so next up, uh, guys, we're laying up the mold for this little... Um, plug here which is sort of like a front fascia to the air inlet so it sits in the back of the cabin um, at the roof there and again you'll see that a little bit later on how it sort of mates up and uh, so next up Jeff was laying up the actual part for the overhead console so he's using the, uh, the structural carbon fiber there and laying that on the 45 degree angle and uh, this one doesn't have any core in it so fairly simple layup and I believe it was just uh, equivalent to eight um, eight plies so I'm not sure actually I didn't, I didn't watch him laying up in detail uh, here's the uh, nose mold there and that's the uh, the castering wheels there ready to go on I just need some uh, bolts put in there and here's Zach uh, sanding on the uh, main spar plug. So this is the 400 grit sand. So this is the last go round before we uh, pull a mold off of that one. So that'll be next week. And there's the overhead console, all vacuumed down, and uh, you know, ready curing. Right now, I don't think Jeff had any problems with laying that one up. So we'll see how that comes out. Yeah, you can see it's under vacuum. Looks nice. So it's quite a complicated part, that really, but in the end, laying it up, not that difficult. Next up, here's the nose mold flipped up the right way, sitting on its uh, casters. And so there you can see the four different wheels. So two of them are straight and two of them are, are actually pivoting so it's easy enough to sort of move around. Same sort of configuration we did uh, for the lower fuselage. Just makes it much easier to, to move the mold around and, and deal with it. So that one's uh, ready to be laid up now. We'll be cutting core for that soon. So here's the overhead console released from the mold and actually trimmed as well. It ended up uh, weighing in at uh, six and three quarter pounds and a little bit heavy but that's because it's um, it is a structural component so it does have quite a number of layers of carbon fiber in there um, but you know not any heavier than anything that would be in metal or anything like that so we're happy with that and next up you remember the rear pressure bulkhead uh, mold that we had worked on a little while ago that one's ready to be laid up so I had to cut the core for that so uh, there was quite a number of pieces to go into that and varying um, densities of core per the specs of Mark, you know, because it is the pressure wall. So it has to be able to handle the pressurization. So that's uh, just cutting one of the pieces there on the mill. And meanwhile, the guys were uh, glassing in or with carbon fiber, 
the braces for the roof. So just two layers of carbon fiber to hold those in place. So the guys are getting a good handle on, on doing that now and don't really need too much help uh, to get through one of those little projects. And here you can see the rear pressure bulkhead with all of the core pieces just dry fit in there. And so in the corner there, there's some FR4, uh, which adds, adds some extra strengths that we needed there. And then there's cutouts there, which will be sort of access panel so we can get to the gear and the flight controls um, and other things like the uh, sump tank that sit there behind uh, the main cabin. So like I said, there's quite a few pieces that make up that, different varying thicknesses. And then you can see there's a couple of pieces of FR4 just cut in there and that's where the gear bolts through. So that's additional strength to the other bulkhead that this mates up with. So it didn't have to be as, as big a piece of FR4 as what the other one had. And then uh, here's the roof mold with the top braces uh, put on and now the side braces just sort of dry fit into place. So uh, tomorrow they'll be uh, glassing those in. Next up, started cutting the foam for the uh, fixture that's going to hold our windows, the one that I showed you the design last time. So just doing the rough cut right now and then, um, you know, be doing the other face cuts and swarf cuts um, after that. So you'll see that uh, next time probably getting glassed to have some putty sprayed on it. And here's that small mold that you saw earlier that was being laid up, so it got finished. And then next, uh, Jeff cut some braces for that, just uh, using the bandsaw, just cut it out of foam. So those have to be glass into place. And then that'll make that uh, mold easy enough to stand on its own and be able to lay that up. And lastly, here's the model with the uh, four new uh, Vortilons that have been added there uh, to the leading edge of the outboard um, section of the wing. And so we're hoping when we get to fly the model that those are going to also help um, with any spanwise flow that we're going to get. And actually, I think they look kind of cool. Um, it just made out of thin carbon fiber. So uh, one other update item was uh, we've got 459 deposits now and they're coming in better than one a day. So pretty happy with that. Anyway, that's our update uh, for the first half of this week. Thanks again for watching.